Hello Sacred Studios here and today we're going to be looking at this is hands down the best action figure I've ever made. It is Cynthia from the Generation 4 Pokemon games. Now despite this being the best action figure I've ever made, um, I do have a very uh, upsetting and serious announcement for you guys. And I don't really want to say it but I feel like I, I should probably. And uh, that announcement is, so the issue is I've never actually played a Generation 4 Pokemon game. Okay, look, look, I know, I know, I was gonna get to it, I was gonna get to it, but I just never, I never got to it. So, yeah, I played Generation 3, I played 5, I played every single generation except for Generation 4, and because of that, I don't really understand the, I guess, historical significance of this character. Uh, now, that being said, she has showed up in other Pokemon games, so I know from that, and I, I have a, like a, a Pokemon card with Cynthia in it. So I know like who she is, but I don't really know who she is. So uh, yeah, you know, despite all that, again, this is probably the best action figure I've ever made. And I know I say that every time I make a video, it seems like, but I, like seriously, this is much better than the Ridley action figure I made. This is much better than, you know, the Banjo-Kazooie action figure I made. So now on to how I made her. And it was a bit of a process on how I made Cynthia here. So first off, the base was uh, DC superhero high school girl or whatever it was. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it in the description. But as you can tell, uh, this, you know, Batgirl figure does not look like Cynthia at all. Um, so I had to do a, a lot of sculpting to get her to actually look, resemble, you know, uh, Cynthia. So, uh, first, what I had to do is uh, change her shoes to look more like a high heels and less like a like boots, like rain boots. And uh, I had to change her pants to kind of droop at the end like Cynthia's. Next up was making the 3D model for Cynthia, which uh, usually is probably the hardest part. But this time, I got really lucky and I got it first try. So pretty much I got her model from Pokemon Masters and I just printed her head and by some miracle it just kind of all worked. There was no bugs or issues that happened at all. I just got it first try. So now on to her uh, like cape or duster coat or whatever is going on over there um, which I made out of craft foam. and. Honestly, I, I was thinking about making it out of cloth, but the issue with like cloth is that uh, Cynthia Like her coat kind of like I Don't know how it works, but it kind of like it looks like it's wired almost like it always sticks out So I couldn't use something like cloth or something realistic to make it or else it would just kind of droop everywhere and I, and I wanted to make it as accurate to the character as I could so lastly I made the little uh, buttons, I guess, uh, around her jacket. Again, I've never played Generation 4. I don't know, those could be her thir like third eyes, for all I, I know. But <laughs> yeah, I made the little fur rings, or whatever you call them, around her wrist. Uh, actually, I made it out of a, f uh, a kind of odd process, because I wanted to get it to look actually like it was like kind of like a fur sort of thing. So the way I did that is, if you recall in episode 4 of my stop motion, one of the crocodile guys like swung around with a rope. And the, the rope had a wire inside of it, so that's pretty much how I did it. I just took that rope and just put it around uh, Cynthia instead. So now on to the painting, which again was very complicated because from, from a first glance I, I thought it was going to be easy because, you know, she just wears black. so. But if you look at like her pictures and whatnot, she wears like slightly different variants of black. It's not just one straight color. So last but not least, uh, her face was uh, again extremely difficult to make. I had to redo it about two or three times. The issue was mostly, you know, she she only has one eye showing, right? Uh, but just getting that eye to look how it should was extremely difficult because it was either her eye would be too big, it would be too small, it would, you know, it, or it wouldn't be like in the right area. But uh, eventually, you know, I got it down and 
this is the, the finished product. And again, this is the best action figure I've ever made, you know, hands down. Um, she looks really great. And she will not show up in episode 6, but she might show up later on in my series. Uh, I just made this figure more as like a test to see if I could make her. But, yeah. So, Sacred out. Hello, uh, Future Sacred here from my time machine. And I actually want to spend this time to shout out two of my voice actors and actresses. Now, these guys have stuck with me for a very long time. These two people in specific. And I think it's the least I could do. Uh, would just be to give them a bit of a shout out so uh, pretty much yes please go to their channels please uh, subscribe to them um, I'll leave their channels in the description but um, yeah please uh, go and subscribe to their channels uh, again it will be in the description so uh, please go ahead and do that All right uh, thank you so much and uh, sacred out for real this time